guys welcome back for another vlog and today I am going to share with you how I put up all those greenery up on the window because I'm getting a lot of questions and requests to show you guys so this is what I'm going to start with and I also going to share with you how far we get with our deck This is gonna be super easy so I have this curtain rod I think I got it from Home Depot but that is something that you can adjust to the whiteness to the window and I, I just had a curtain that I took off and I'm going to use the same curtain rod and simply I just pull over this greenery this is an artificial one and I've got this from craft warehouse and one of the best time to get this type of greenery is on the spring and I kind of like this uh, very simple green ones because they go with all kinds of seasons so now you can leave it just like that that will stay up there but I want to fix the little back part um, where it's all tied together because it's gonna be easier to open the window if it doesn't stick out so I just use this wire I have this wire for like I don't know, like for 18 years <laughs> I got it on the grass sale but it's at the floral section if you're looking for in the craft store and simply I just twist it around on this end of this plant and I'm just twisting it around on the leaves and that's all and that's going to keep it together and it will have an easier way to open the window and I like this decoration so much because I have nothing to look at in this window that is related to nature we have a driveway here and I got the fence there so there's nothing that um, is green when I look out on the window so it warms up the view a little bit This is just a super quick idea for you if you have a wreath at home you can just repurpose it like put it into in a basket and it will look like a bouquet let's see how the boys are doing it's getting bigger and bigger I'm out of screws you are out of screws then yeah. you screw yeah, I know, and Home Depot closed already. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the good old days when you can just run there, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Time has changed. So. Yeah, so I can finish this board and uh, put a couple more screws in the next board and call it done. So you wanna use some tape? I got some tape, scotch tape for you. Yeah, we can do that. We'll just put it there and then. You wanna call do it that? Good. I'm just gonna put it there and call it good. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Can you imagine somebody just walking on one side and just slap on the face on the other? <laughs> That's a good trap for intruders, you know. So, how, how many boards you can put down now? This one and maybe one more with a couple of screws. Uh -huh. Don't cut up wood yourself. <laughs> you look like you're just gonna be about to cut up wood. Okay, okay, so it's, you said it's not done, so there's no screws in the last two boards, right? Yeah, and then... But, this is how it's going to look like. So the two last boards are not screwed down yet, and then uh, I need to pick up one more 2x4 for, for the last board. That's going to be a 2x4, and a couple more screws here and there, and cut the sides. And it's and done? And then we're done. And on to and the then next project and then we can start to decorate
I have a good feeling that this deck will give us so many great opportunity to play card games and board games and even further I might gonna bring out the table on the summer so I could paint some watercolor outside and that would perfectly represent what I like to paint. Something that is a cozy home and just surrounded by big trees so I think this is gonna be a perfect environment. So I'm very looking forward to the warm summer nights when we can finally use this new deck. My three climbing kids generously offered to help me <laughs> so they were able to put uh, the lights on the higher branches and I really love how it turned out. Today I am sharing with you guys all those things that you were asking me in the comments and one of them was this egg soup and this is one of my favorite. My husband likes it too but basically I'm the main <laughs> soup eater in our family. My kids doesn't really like that much the soup. so. Uh, this is something it's super easy to make and if you don't have anything at home you can still create that you just all you need is eggs and a little bit of a uh, flour so what you've seen I put two tablespoons of ghee and you can use some other oil if you prefer something else and I used two tablespoons of flour that was a gluten-free uh, namaste brand one and I just added some um, carvey seed that was about one teaspoon and I mix it together and just blend it together and then I add some water to it so and don't forget the salt it needs a lots of salt so I'm whisking it all the way and um, it needs to be stirred all the time so make sure it doesn't get any lumps from the flour we want just the chunky egg pieces <laughs> not the uh, from the flour so I'm whisking up another egg and I'm just going to just drop it in there and just stir it up and that will give an extra texture to the soup again and all the rest of the eggs are will be very gently put it into the soup after I put the eggs in there I'm not going to stir it up so make sure I don't touch the eggs so they can boil in one piece and that would be about I would say maybe six to seven or eight minutes it depends how you like it I like it when it's a little bit raw the yellow part but um, you can cook it a little bit longer as well make sure that don't, you don't stir it up and I put five eggs into the size of the soup Inside where? Guys, this is Joad's newest project with the boys. The old Jack. And what is this Jack doing? 
it's a, you can lift a car up with it. Uh huh. So, your plan is to fix this with the boys mm -hmm. so you can teach them how to fix the car. And then how to drive a car. <laughs> yeah, because when it's gonna be done, they can cook. Do cook and drive. Oh, yeah. 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 So. Yeah, in one more year he can get the driver license. I know, that's scary though. <laughs>